Hey guys, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and as promised, I am back with a great big long awaited announcement that my little mini makeup collection is now available. Until this morning, I had planned on just getting John to film me putting on my makeup, but I just like trying on clothes. I like to talk about it when I am doing it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I will go into further detail on each product, but because I'm sitting here with no eyeshadow on and no lipstick, let's go ahead and do this. So the first product that probably started it all is the lip liner. You know I am a lip liner girl. I always have been. It's the most important and it's just fun to me. I love lip liners. I love making different lip combinations. I love just what it can do for a lipstick or a lip gloss. I loved the Nude Sandals lip liner that I did with Christian Audet. I haven't said that yet. This collaboration is with Christian Audet. That's what I was getting to. Last time we did the Nude Sandals. I had no idea how fabulous this lip liner would be. I had no idea how beautiful the finish is and how long it lasts. That's the thing. No other lip liner lasts as long on your lips as these lip liners. She's worked very hard on her formula to make them a silky gel that sets. It doesn't seep into your lipstick and make your lipstick turn the color that it is like so many of the lip liners that I like, but they don't stay lip liners. They just morph into your lipstick. And it's just clean ingredients. So much better than many of the lip liners that are on the market made in Germany. So it's just a lot of time taken. It's not just something that was made sitting on a shelf and she put her name on them or I put my name on them. That would be very easy to do, but I have in my 51 years, finally realized that something that takes a long time and that you really have to work hard for is you just appreciate it so much more. It's so much better quality. I loved this so much that every time I put it on, I thought to myself, we need to do another lip liner. We need to do another lip liner. I mean, I like the formula more than Lancome Ideal. I approached her and I said, you know, if you ever are wanting to do lip liners, I would love to be a part of it and kind of get that perfect color that I love. It started and it kind of went into some of my other favorite products, a cream shadow stick and a lipstick. And you're gonna be so, I don't know, I have so many thoughts that I can't get them all out. And a surprise product here at the end. So let's start with the lip liner. The lip liner's name is Paradise. I just love that word. Every name I chose, I thought about for a long time. This has been in the making for about a year now. I love that Paradise is different for everyone. And I just love the sound of the word. And I just, sometimes feel like I'm in paradise. I love where we live now. I love looking out at the ocean, at the palm trees. I just love everything about the way I feel. And I love that this may not be someone else's paradise, but it doesn't matter. We all have our own just feeling of paradise. I'm gonna put this on first. This is the box, a really nice, Heavy box, okay, the lip liner was made in Germany. I think I've already said that. I love lip liners that sharpen. So, Lip Paradise is this deep green color, kind of a nod to a palm tree or tropical paradise. So here we go. I am very particular about my lip liners. I like to hold them a certain way. That's why I don't like the ones that are like a wedge and I'm not crazy about the ones that roll up because I like to have my lip liner sharpened. That is how this is. And it's smooth, it doesn't tug on your lips, it doesn't go into fine lines, it doesn't morph out or come in. It's perfect. I'm so nervous. I've got a mirror here and I'm using my camera today instead of my phone because I had details on my phone that I might want to read to you. Okay, 
So I just put on all my makeup and right here in this bright daylight, you know how your makeup looks different, but here we go. I always start at the edge, you guys know that. <laughs> I'm shaking. Okay, I did have a little bit, I used Estee Lauder Double Wear today, and a little bit will get on the edges of my lips, and I leave it there. I just, I don't know, I feel like the lip liner goes on better. If I remove it, maybe it's because what I remove it with makes them slick. I don't know. That's just how I do, and that's how I like it. it just, it's just like a lip extension. This is like lip filler. Okay, I'm going to do the... And I'm doing it very lightly. So of course, if you do it heavier, you're gonna get a darker color. Okay, so there is the lip liner. Isn't that amazing? The power of lip liner is amazing. This is what it did for my whole face. So I'm gonna go over it just a little bit more. Okay, just beautiful, beautiful. Just, I cannot tell you how happy in my heart that I am, that I truly love it so much because it's scary. It's a scary thing when you commit to something and you put your name on something and people are spending money on it. You want to just believe in it and I just do. I love it so much. So the lipstick. When I talked to her at first about the lip liner, we talked about maybe doing a lipstick. And I am just so stubborn that I just didn't want to do, of course, you know, if you do like a mauve mid-tone lipstick, a lot of people are gonna like it, more people. But I really wanted to do something, if I was gonna go through the trouble and I was gonna go do everything and just put my name on it. I wanted something that was very, very special to me. What lipstick do you remember that has been very, very special to me? Estee Lauder Rose Amethyst. I sent that to her and we made Rose Amethyst, but even better. I told her that I loved the color, but I wish it was a little bit glossier and I wished it was a little bit less opaque because I feel like that makes it more wearable. The name of the lipstick is Golden Hour. The reason I named it Golden Hour is because everyone looks good in Golden Hour. And I just love that. I love Golden Hour in the summer. The window right here, the sun sets over on that side. And when you just take a picture of my little um, credenza over there. It's just gorgeous. It's like I really grasped the power of Golden Hour and I just loved the name and I just love the fact that everyone looks good in Golden Hour. So the lipstick is made in the USA, which is important to me. So here it is. I have not used this one. This was my package that I opened up. Mine look beat up because I have been using them for so long. But you can see it's just a beautiful magnetic case, gorgeous. I love the shape of the lipstick. That is very important to me. I don't like a lipstick that is shaped like that or is too blunt that way because then I cannot, a lot of times I like to go over my lip liner. That is important. Just a light fragrance, nothing perfumey, more like a little bit of a vanilla smell and just beautiful. So let me swatch it first. It is a beautiful, it's not sparkly, it's not, let's see, it's hard for me to see what you can see because the sun is, you know, bright right here, but let me put it on. And it just gets better and better. It smells good. It feels good. And what I like to do is like this will look better and better and better. Like usually when I wear it, 
gonna do it like this and it will just kind of melt into my lips even more, but I'm gonna try to It feels so good, you guys. And this lipstick lasts all day. I do not take things with me. I will take a picture, a selfie after lunch and I still have lip product on. It wears off so beautifully. It does not get caught in your lip lines. It doesn't wear off and just leave your lip liner. It is just beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful nude okay so we're gonna let that marinate and sit there a little bit and let you look at it while we try the next product next product is an eye crayon an eye shadow a butter shadow it is so soft and creamy and smooth and easy to use i had no idea how much i would love this the name of the eyeshadow is naked birkin and when I was showing you guys at the rental house my Birkin, one of you said, Lisa, I love your naked Birkin. Just because of the color, because it would be in a nude, and I, it just stuck. I just thought that was so cool. You guys have no idea how many lip liners we have been through, how many lipsticks, bags and bags of these sent back and forth to pick these colors. But this color is, it is the most unique, color to me. What I love about it, it is a true eye shadow. Without screaming, I'm wearing eyeshadow, it creates a shadow in the crease of your eye. It is so easy. I can do my makeup sometimes with one brush because I'm using this. I'm using just a brow brush and maybe the brush that I use for bronzer, but I'm using all of these cream products because this, you do not need a brush. So here we go, let me um, swatch it. I feel like my skin is not gonna show these well enough. The website will have wonderful swatches. Okay, so today I have nothing on my eyelids but the City Beauty Lid Lifter. And this is what I do. It's very creamy at first when you put it on, so it's very easy to blend out. What I always recommend is put it a slight bit lower than you want so that you can take your finger and blend it up and out. And then I like to go on this bone and then pull it out like that. And then I come in here and wear it like that. I mean, is it not beautiful? It lifts your eyes. It creates that dimension. It just creates that natural makeup glam look without screaming a color. It's not too orangey, not too dark. It's just, it's beautiful. And when you, when it dries, it stays all day long. It doesn't crease. It doesn't fade, it's just, it's beautiful. It also has this at the end, which is a sharpener. I prefer this shape, but if you wanted to use it just for the inner corner, say your skin tone is much darker than mine, then it would be a great highlight and a great lid and inner corner color. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I've never done it, you know, with my eye makeup basically done. But what makes this awesome is you can keep these three things in your purse. They're called performance neutrals. And you can put this on at any time for any occasion and you're gonna look good. It is just the perfect taupey, not shimmery. It's kind of like a satin finish and it's just beautiful. Usually when I get through, like usually I would have done this and then I will do my eyeliner, my lashes and everything. And then I will come back and do right on this bone so that I can bring it up and out. And that is very lifting. I also love it. I can do my makeup so fast now. I just go right here 
on my lower lash. I don't even really need to blend it. And it just creates that shadow and see how it, the difference, like when I edit this back, I hope that you can see the difference in my eyes. It's like, you can't see that I put on a bunch of eyeshadow, but I bet my eyes look more finished and bigger. I love it. And I love, like when I come in there, see how easy it is to blend? It's beautiful. I told John this morning that the best thing about it is just how, how well it turned out and how much I do truly, truly love it. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm not gonna use a makeup wipe, I just want to use a tissue. And I'm gonna show you different ways to use the lip liner and the lipstick. So some days what I do, instead of doing my nude lip, and you guys have seen this, See how well that lip liner just stays. You can fill in, I don't fill in the whole lip, but in the picture, I'll go ahead and show you this. After two or three photographers, Brooke and I took this picture right back here on that wall before it was, before the molding was up there. This is the picture that will be in the package and this is the makeup. So you see how much darker this lipstick is here. That's because that day I had done this. See, is that side higher than the other? I'm not gonna, if I get into trying to make a match, there's no telling what will happen. Okay, so you can wear the lip liner on its own. Let me fill it in a little bit more, just in case you want to. Okay, keep in mind, this will stay all day long, I'm telling you. Everything smells so light and just pretty. Not perfumey, just pretty. Okay, now. Just go over it and it just gives it that little bit of a glimmer over this lip liner. Still a nude, just a little bit of a darker nude. That perfect Angelina Jolie, Rosie Huntington Whiteley look that I love when you know they have a lip product on, but you can't tell what it is. Another thing you can do, say you have your favorite lipstick and matter of fact, let me go put a darker lipstick on and I'll be right back. I just went downstairs and discovered I don't have a whole lot of dark lipsticks. I don't have any to show you this, but this is also a great kind of like topper for lipsticks because it's it's glossy without being like, you know, yucky glossy or just all over the place. And it has that little bit of a sheen. It just looks so pretty over anything. So I went and put one of my darker lip lipsticks on and we're gonna put this over it so you can see. See how it like gives that sheen like up around the cupid's bow? like that. Oh, it's so, pretty. it's so pretty. There it is. I hope that you guys like it. I'm very excited and happy and fulfilled that I feel like everyone and anyone is going to love this. I feel like in some way you are going to love this. If this eyeshadow looks too light for you, it is a great base. Let it dry. I just tried to wipe my hand off so it wouldn't get on my clothes and look at the eyeshadow. It would not come off. So it's a great, like I've done my whole, matter of fact, Christian Audette, she, you know, is opposite coloring. She has dark, dark, dark brown eyes and dark, dark, dark brown hair, almost black. And she's been wearing it every day. She wears it all over the eye. And like her office and everything have been using it as a base. So of course it's versatile. And I just feel like, I feel like I've made something that everyone, or we've made something that everyone 
can enjoy. The last thing is something I never thought I would have anything to do with, and it is a premium, nice candle. It comes in this nice box, like a gift box. This is what, like every time I kept telling you guys, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. This is what we were working on. We wanted the, just when I smell it, it is just, it gives me butterflies and it makes me feel so relaxed and good and calm. It is made here in the United States. It's made in Connecticut. It's a soy candle. It comes in this nice, beautiful gift box. It comes with a box of matches that I must have left downstairs. And it just has this beautiful, crest on it. You guys know this is one of my favorite colors, this deep cobalt blue. And the name of this candle is Ocean. The reason I chose that is because of the way the ocean just makes me feel and the way this scent makes me feel. It is just like good for your soul. It is made from all clean ingredients and it is 16 ounces. So it is bigger than most of your definitely bigger than the Ergo candle. And what's even better is it burns clean and you will be able to use this like for your lip liners. Actual jar is so like luxe and nice. I just think that is so beautiful. I love it. Oh gosh, I've already got, you probably saw the one I have downstairs burning in my bedroom. It is, it just makes me feel good with the lions on it and the crown. I mean, I just love it. So I hope you guys will give this a try. I really appreciate you being here. I just appreciate your support so much. I appreciate your inspiration and I will leave all the information down below. And thank you so much. Oh, let me do an outfit of the day. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have on this new top with my Honey Love bodysuit under it. This is Nanushka. It's a, a new brand to me. And then the jeans, I just noticed I have something on, so I'm probably gonna have to change jeans, but these are the Bomb Pop jeans from AYR Air, <laughs> however they pronounce it. And then these are the Bottega stretch mules that I love so much and it is warmer today. It's going to get in the 70s. So I wanted to take advantage of being able to wear these shoes that I love so much. For jewelry, I have on just the little studs that Dean sent me. These are 14 karat moonstone studs. And I put on the necklace that my parents gave me. It says the world is yours. And I also have on the rings that they gave me. Hope you guys will love this as much as I do. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much to Christian Audette for giving me this opportunity. You know, I'm someone who my dreams, my dreams have been somewhat fulfilled in life. I always dreamed of being a mom. I don't want to get into it because I'll start crying. I don't have big dreams of starting a makeup line. I don't have big dreams of starting a clothing line. I am happy. I just want to continue and get bigger and better and just, just continue this fabulous life that I'm living. It's wonderful for me to have someone that I admire, a good quality product, to be able to partner with. I just appreciate it so much. So thank you to Christian Audette for this and thank you to you guys. Love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.